If someone were to ask me what a classic survival horror game should be, I would instantly point them to the original Resident Evil on the PlayStation. It broke ground and really set into motion a whole new style of game that would revolutionize the gaming industry, a style that I feel isn't really seen or appreciated anymore in this day of age. Or well, here comes two devs from Rose Engine, Yuri Stern and Barbara Whitman. They have absolutely captured that magic in this small little indie game called Signalis. Signalis captures the old school survival horror feel in both its gameplay and atmosphere. Waking up from a pod on a down ship, you as a player really have no idea what's happening and that's absolutely beautiful. It makes the dreary sci-fi atmosphere pop way more as you explore the tight corridors of this ship, learning the mechanics and how the game wants you to play. Speaking of which, the gameplay is smooth. With a semi-top-down camera angle that's fixed, you are able to see what each room contains all at once, but because of how the shadows are cast by the devs, it can be tricky to see enemies that may be hidden away in the dark corners of rooms. Then of course, as you find your first weapon, a small pistol, you are able to gun them down, but be warned. Ammo is in short supply along with your inventory space, so you will have to be conscious of what you want to take with you when exploring. The balance of ammo, health, and key items is something I really miss in games nowadays, but luckily Signalis is shaping up to handle that perfectly. Also, I should mention there is an item box where you can store items as well, so you don't have to worry about throwing away much needed items that may be valuable to your survival down the road, just like in the classic Resident Evil games. Especially when it comes to the puzzle solving. The few puzzles we get to experience in Signalis are simple but fun. Just enough to make them not feel tedious, but give the player a nice break from the action and running away from enemies trying to kill you. Not to mention, when you pick up a clue for that next puzzle, it's nice being able to look forward and try to guess what that puzzle will be like based on that item you found. Whether it's tuning power, matching a pattern, or fixing a broken card, I'm curious to see what they do with them deeper into the game. Definitely with the added first-person perspective moments where you can look around the room to find clues or click to move the character forward to explore. Such a cool little detail that adds depth to the game. Now obviously this was just a demo that included not even a fraction of what the game probably has in store for the player, but if the rest of the game is anything like the demo and builds upon it, I really think we have something special here that a ton of players who like that classic survival horror gameplay will be able to enjoy. Also the main menu is top notch, I mean look at that eye, that's just really cool to me, I don't know why it just is. Either way though. You can look forward to a full review of the game from me when it releases later this year in October. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all whenever the next video is. Peace.